When screen recording on the DJI RC2, there's one tricky thing that you might encounter if you don't see this notification. I'll show you what I mean, as well as how to do all of these things. To take a screenshot on the RC2, swipe down twice from the top of the screen and then tap the screenshot icon. You can then tap the lower left to view it or hit the X to view it later. To start a screen recording, again, swipe down twice from the top and then hit the record screen icon. Now you're recording the screen after a second or two. There we go. Once it makes the sound, you're recording the screen and this floating dialogue will tell you that you're recording and you can either stop the screen recording by hitting the stop on the dialogue or swipe down twice and then hit the screen recording icon again. Keep in mind that the RC2 does not have a built-in mic, so your screen recordings will not have any sound. If you do want to record audio, there is a USB-C port that you can plug a mic into. And to demonstrate that, I will use the DJI mic, and it does have a USB-C adapter. So I'll take that out, and I will line up the two little arrows and attach it to the receiver. Then I'll take out one of the transmitters and just clip it on here. You can see that we do have audio signal, so I will plug this into the RC2 and just go ahead and start up screen recording. So now it's started and I didn't hear a sound through it, so maybe it's playing the sound through the USB-C system, but we should be getting audio. And the way to test that would be to stop the screen recording and then play it back and see if we can hear audio. So I'm going to swipe down twice and I see in the notification area, the screen recording is there. So I'll play it, see if we have audio. You know what, because the USB-C is plugged in, it probably won't play through the speakers. So now it's started. I do hear audio and if you wanna make it louder, just swipe down twice and here is a, a volume slider. So maybe it's playing the sound through the USB-C system. If you've just taken a screenshot, you can tap on the lower left and view it that way. You can add some filters, add borders, do a whole bunch of things and then save it. But what if you want to find all your screenshots? Swipe down twice from the top and then tap on the explore link right here. Then tap the top left menu and then go to images. You'll see a folder called screenshots. Now I mentioned earlier that if you don't see the SD card notification with the explore link, for example, if you don't have an SD card or if you just swiped it away, you can still access the file system in kind of a convoluted way. So make sure you're paying attention. Swipe down twice from the top then tap the gear icon, tap storage, internal shared storage. If you tap photos and videos, you will be able to see the images and your screenshots, and you will be able to edit them and add borders and whatever you want, crop and rotate and save it. However, it doesn't get to the same place in the file system that we were at previously. So instead of hitting photos and videos, you'll need to hit music and audio, and then audio files. And from here, tap the top left menu and go to images and screenshots. This gets you to the same place in the file system if you were to hit the explore icon in the SD card notification. If you like that notification, make sure you put an SD card in or sometimes even after putting an SD card back, it's just not there anymore. So you'll have to go to the menu, top right gear icon, and then go to storage, and then portable storage, tap Android, and then hit format. Once you format the card, you'll be able to see the notification again. I just need to hit setup right here. And now that that's done, the notification is back. If you want to delete a screenshot, in this file system, under the images and screenshots folder, you can view the images one at a time, but you can't really do anything here. If you tap this gallery icon on the top left, 
nothing happens. You can't swipe to go to the next picture, can't do anything here. So if you want to delete screenshots, you can do that by long pressing and selecting as many screenshots as you want, tapping the trash can icon and then hit OK to delete. Or if you want to edit your photos, tap the menu icon and then go to videos. Start playing a video and then go to the gallery icon on the top left. And then in screenshots, if you open one of them up, you'll notice that there's a pencil icon on the bottom left. And that'll take you to the edit mode where you can make your edits and then save. But you still can't delete from this menu. You can delete from the grid view here, same way by long pressing and then hitting delete. The film strip view doesn't have any delete options, but you can view them in a larger preview. So grid view is for deleting. Are you confused yet? Because I sure am. Thanks, DJI. Now, finding screen recordings is similar to screenshots. You tap the explore icon, tap the menu, and then go to videos. And there should be a movies folder with all your screen recordings. And you can play them back and scrub through them. But from here, you can't delete just like before. So you'll have to delete either by selecting screen recordings and hitting the trash can icon and hitting OK, or by going to the gallery view and then tapping on movies and then selecting them from here. If you want to copy screenshots and screen recordings to the SD card that is inserted in the RC2, navigate to that same location by hitting explore and then going to the top left menu and either images for screenshots or your videos. Now your view might look different. It might look like this or like that. So just toggle this icon here, depending on which view you prefer. To make a selection in either view, tap and hold and select as many as you want. And then in the top right corner, you'll see a three dot menu. Tap that and select copy to. Now navigate to your SD card by hitting the menu. And then in my case, it just says Android. And here is the SD card's root directory. You can either copy to an existing folder or if you want to make a new folder, tap this icon here and then name it what you want. I'll call it new folder. I don't know why it's not showing where I'm typing. It's weird. Anyway, open the folder and hit copy. And now the screen recordings are copying. To copy files directly from the RC2 to a Mac, plug in a USB-C cable from your Mac to the RC2. You'll need to install the free Android file transfer and it should just pop up right away if you have it installed. You can see there's an Android tab as well as an internal shared storage tab. The Android tab is your SD card. Screen recordings and screenshots are saved on the internal storage. So from here, navigate to the movies folder and copy screen recordings. Or you can go to the pictures folder and find any screenshots that you want. To copy files to a Windows machine, again, plug in a USB-C cable connected to your PC and you should see the RC2 show up as a regular drive. Just open that and then you can navigate either to the SD card or the internal storage, which is where screen recordings and screenshots are located. Then go to the movies folder if you want to copy screen recordings and go to the pictures folder if you want to copy screenshots. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Let us know in the comments if you are now more confused or less confused. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone.